Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to all students. Okay, today this will be our final video and uh, chapter 8 of Computer Architecture and Organization under the topic of Evaluation and Proximity. So, uh, for chapter 8, here is uh, the answer, uh, the explanation of the lab module under chapter 8. Okay, so let's go towards the first task. Okay, uh, first one, using the internet, find the definition of the performance matrix below. Okay, so start with clock rate here. So what exactly clock rate? So the clock rate is the frequency at which the clock generator of a processor can generate pulses, which are used to synchronize the operation of its components and is used as an indicator of the processor speed. So this is what you see on clock rate. So when you talk about your processor performance, which involve um, uh, when you buy when you buy uh, PC computers, so for example, i7 4 gigahertz. So those 4 gigahertz, uh, 3.2 gigahertz represent the clock rate of your computer. So next question is CPI. So what is CPI? CPI is a short form for cycles per instruction. So the definition will be the average number of clock cycle per instruction for a program or a program fragments. So actually when you run a program, the program runs according to your clock tick tocks. So the clock tick tocks, the how many tick tocks they take to finish a program so this is where you have a CPI cycles per instruction and then you have flops so flops is a measure of computer performance useful in the field of scientific computation that require floating point calculations so actually flops is a measurable uh, measurable uh, units for us to calculate floating points calculation okay so how well does a computer calculate this uh, kind of matrix. So this will represent the computer capability on uh, computer performance basically. So and then lastly we have the memory latency. So the memory latency is the time between initiating a request for a byte or word in memory until it is retrieved by a processor. So it's the time, time between a request for a byte in a memory until it is retrieved by a processor. Okay, so processor request and the processor, when the processor receive it, okay, is the time taken. Okay, the time taken between the request and the processor receive, this is the memory latency. Okay, so let's go ahead to our question number two. Okay, from the question, suppose one machine A executes a program with an average CPI of 1.9. So here in this case, 1.9 cycle per instruction. So suppose another machine B with the same instruction set and an enhanced compiler execute the same program with a 20% less instruction and with a CPI of 1.1 at 800 MHz. Okay. In order for the two machines to have the same performance, what does the clock rate of the first machine need to be? So this is a comparison between two PC and you want to know, okay, with certain certain a specification what exactly the machine is specification so that it can perform as well as the machine B so here on the left side is machine A on the right side is machine B so the instruction count in this case is considered the same so we don't have to put anything here and here 1.9 the CPI for computer A for machine A 1.1 is for PCB Okay, so in this case here, we have 20% less instruction. Okay, so means that it uh, the instruction count is 20% less. So here in this case is 80%. Okay, 80% of what computer A should be. So here divided by the speed of the machine B. So at the end, when you conduct uh, equal, uh, how can I say, uh, a little bit of algebra, you're transferring here, cancelling IC, and uh, you try to get the CRA is equal to 1.7 gigahertz. So here you see that machine A will be, clock rate A 
will be 1.7 gigahertz. Okay, let's go ahead for the question number three. So you are given a choice between two computers, computer A and computer B. Computer A is built with 2.4 GHz CPU clock frequency and computer B is built with 3.0 GHz CPU clock frequency. So let's start with the first question for question 3. Produce the clock cycle time for both computers using the above information. So clock cycle time means when it tick talks, how long it takes. Okay, how long it take for it to tick and talk for one cycle? Okay, so now we start with computer A. How do you calculate that? It's just, it's easy. It's just one over the clock frequency. Because one over clock frequency is equal to the time taken for it to complete one cycle. So here, one over the frequency you get for computer A is 0 0.4. Or here is supposed to be uh, computer B. So, computer B clock cycle time is 1 over 3.0, which is 0 0.33 nanosecond. Okay, so next we go towards uh, number 2. CPU for computer A has a CPU time for 10 seconds, and CPU for computer B has a CPU time for 6 seconds. Demonstrate how much is the clock cycle different between computer B and A. Okay, in this case, you have the clock cycle A. Okay, here is 10 second times the frequency. 10 second times the frequency, which is 24 times 10 power of 9. Okay, clock cycle B is 6 times 3.0 times 10 power of 9. Equal to 18 times 10 power of 9. Okay, so here CPU time okay might be representing uh, it, how long it takes to complete one instruction in this case let's consider it, they want to complete one instruction they need to have 10 tiktoks at 2.4 gigahertz okay and here you need six tiktoks at 3.0 gigahertz okay so now uh, in order to complete the CPU, uh, the clock cycle difference, okay, in this case, you can see the clock cycle difference between CPU A and CPU B is equal to clock cycle A divided by clock cycle B, which is 1.33. So 1.33, A is using 1.33 clock cycle more than computer B, basically. Okay, so they use 1.33 times more TikToks than computer B, okay, at a lower frequency, okay. So within, uh, going to number three, within the, the above CPU time, computer A can complete 10 instruction while computer B can complete 12 instruction. Produce the cycle per instruction for both computer. So here it represents how many cycle, clock cycle, how many TikToks does it take for it to complete an instruction. Okay, so in this case you have cycle per instruction is equal to CPU time, okay, divided by instruction time, clock time. So CPU CPI A is equal to 10 times uh, 10 divided by 10 times 0 0.4 nano okay is equal to 2.5 times 10 power of 9 cycle per instruction so here in this case second B, uh, for B is 6 so 6 10 and 6 where do you get them here at the top here from question number 2 okay 6 is equal divide by 12 times 0 0.33 nano so here 0 0.4 0 0.33 is what you did in the question one and you get the answer here so this is the number of instruction the number of cycle it needed to complete one instruction okay number of tiktoks okay tiktok cycle it needs to complete one instruction and finally in your own word, explain which and why one of the computer is better than the other. So here in this case, 
you can conclude that computer B is better than computer A due to less CPU time here, okay, and less CPI and higher clock rate. Okay, less CPU time means it takes quicker time to complete instruction. Less CPI means it takes less TikToks to complete the instruction, means that more TikToks can be spent to other things, okay, uh, to more uh, to other instruction as well. And higher clock rate. Higher clock rate means it's faster, okay, in the frequency. So, okay, so we finish with the third task, okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope that you can succeed in the final exam later on and in case you need to ask me anything, I am free to, I am glad to, uh, to answer any question that you want to give me on the channel or even in our Google Classroom or even personal messages to me. Okay, so thank you for your commitment in uh, my class. Okay, and hopefully I wish you all the best in your future endeavors and don't forget to subscribe and like my channel, okay? Uh, I might upload more other videos that are not related to the class, but more towards uh, information regarding the technology that we will introduce inside the computer. And also a part of <laughs> what my research will be later on, which might be interesting to you. Okay, so uh, I'll see you guys later and hopefully you guys stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.